Converging pocket doors add beauty, versatility, and accessibility to any room. With pocket doors, you can maximize space by saving up to 28 square feet needed for the swing of standard hinged doors. The Johnson Hardware pocket door frames deliver jump-proof operation with the track's box design and smooth rolling tricycle hangers. The Johnson Hardware 1555 Converging Pocket Door Kit connects two pocket door frames to create beautiful and dynamic entryways. Step 1. Construct Rough Opening Johnson Hardware 1500, 1560, and 2511 pocket door frames are versatile and can be cut down to fit a variety of door sizes. If you have the 2 foot by 6 inch or universal frame and are using another size door, please see cutting instructions in the 1500 series pocket door frame installation video or our installation instructions page located on our website www.johnsonhardware.com Size Frame Headers Before Continuing The rough opening and header must be square and plumb with studs and level. When using the Johnson Hardware Series 1500, 1560, and 2511 pocket door frames, the rough opening is four times the door width. If you are using the 2710 and 2711 series door hardware, the rough opening should be four times the door width plus one and one half inches. The rough opening height is door height plus four and one half inches. Door height is plus five inches for the 1560 pocket door frames. Step two. Modify pocket door hardware to fit converging doors. To begin modifying the pocket door hardware, remove and discard end plates from door opening end of each header. Cut 7 eighths of an inch from length of each header, wood part only, where discarded end plates had been located. Cut ends square to keep header straight when joined. Next, butt cut ends together and insert U-channel. Aligning cut ends of headers with center mark stamped in channel. Using channel as a guide, drill two 3 inch holes through headers at outer channel holes. Insert screws through these holes and into top plate on top of header. Tighten, forming a one-piece header. Drill a quarter-inch hole at channel center where header ends meet to fasten the lag screw into rough header for additional center support. Insert stops into track and leave loose until doors are hung. Proceed with regular frame assembly instructions. Step 3 measure for frame header end brackets. The following steps are the installation instructions for the 1500, 1560, and 2511 pocket door frames. Set nail at door height plus three quarters of an inch from finished floor or one and one half inches from subfloor. Mark each rough stud and drive a flathead nail on center, leaving an eighth of an inch protruding. Frame header and brackets will rest on these nails. Step 4. Attach frame header to rough studs. Slip slots in frame header in place over the nails in rough studs. Level header. Insert lag bolt into channel for center support and leveling. Set nails 
and drive nails through the remaining holes in the end plates. Step 5. Snap a chalk line. Snap a chalk line on the floor, even with the side jams. Step 6. Attach split studs. Note, if using one and three quarter inch door, use number 1575 adapter kit with the series 1500 or 2511 pocket door frames. Slip fingers of floor plate into split studs as shown. Next, butt split studs against header nailer, plumb and square split jams, then nail into place. Now you can nail the other split studs midway in the pocket opening. Plumb split studs between chalk line and nail to floor. For applications on masonry, use industrial adhesive or Tapcon fasteners. Step 7. Apply desired wall material. When applying desired wall material, bring the wall material clear to the edge of the opening. Warning. Nails that are too long will protrude into the pocket and can damage the doors. To provide a firm nailing surface, slip a 2 and one inch board between the split jams temporarily. If using the 1560 frame, use a 4 and one inch board. The Johnson pocket door frames come equipped with zinc-plated split jam trim and upright split studs for maximum wall rigidity and to restrict accidental nail penetration. Step 8. Seal all door edges. Seal all door edges and face of door panel with paint or sealing satin. Step 9. Fasten bumpers. Fasten 1513 bumper on back edge of each door, 40 inches from bottom edge. Step 10. Mount door plates and mount doors. To mount the door plates, first, Attach a single door plate on top of each of the doors, two inches from the edge, with lock tab on the same side. Insert hangers into track, alternating wheel positions. Alternating the wheel positions allows for even weight distribution. Mount each door by locating door plate under adjusting bolt of hanger. Lift door and push bolt into each of the door plates. With doors hung in proper position, fasten door stops installed in step one. Step 11. Install finished jams, split headers, and casing. Slide doors together to make sure they close correctly. Adjust equally if necessary. Once doors close and open correctly, you can now install the finished jams. Please note, You'll need a minimum of 3 16ths of an inch clearance between jam and door. 
Next, to plumb doors with jam, slide the doors open. With a shim in place, plumb finished split jam trim with edge of door. Do not use split jam trims with dados. Then, insert finished split header between split jam trim. Attach finished split header on lock lever side with screws provided. Step 12. Fasten door guides. To ensure doors are secured in the center of the opening, fasten 1550 guides on finished split jam trim at door bottoms. Visit www.johnsonhardware.com for information, including door essentials like the privacy lock, door pulls, and our versatile product line of space-saving door solutions. All Johnson products are backed by the Johnson Hardware Warranty.